So, you may have been expecting me to be playing Liberation right now. The truth behind that is I've tried both the Molden and the Altus version of the mission. The KP ones seem to be the most updated, which were like advancements on an abandoned project. And I just run into a ton of issues with them, basically. There were two major things I found with the mission, which have really put me off them. The first was that I couldn't load the cargo container, which you deploy your base with, into the cargo helicopter, because no matter how close I got it, it still refused to recognize that there was a cargo vehicle nearby, which I solved by, in the config, changing it so that we spawned with an FOB already deployed. But second, I just had massive frame drops every, like, between 10 and 30 seconds. I mean, I could have edited that out, I could have played it off like they weren't there, but they were happening so frequently that it was just unplayable. So, we're going to pass up on that one for the time being. If anybody has experienced that in that mission as well and has a fix, please let me know. I'd like to be able to play Liberation, but I can't. So enough about that. Somebody linked me recently to a page of missions by someone called Tomahawk. And I'm picking up their Black Storm mission, which is part of a campaign that they're putting together, like a three-mission campaign. The first two of them are out, the third one I can only assume is currently being worked on. The premise, as you can see by the massive wall of text, with the uh, tags that aren't working because they didn't leave spaces between the, qu the square brackets, or anything for that matter, that we're leading our team into hostile territory to eliminate a threat to the US government. A clandestine operation is being organized in hostile territory to eliminate a CIA deserter who would hold probable confidential information about covert operations conducted by the US government. Also wanted by the AAF, he is reportedly hiding among civilians and FIA insurgents on the island of Molden. A team of operatives from a secret special force is deployed. The presence of American forces on the island must remain unknown. So. Let's give this a crack. I'm quite excited to try this mission, actually. There was like a huge page of missions by this guy, and I was told they're supposedly very good. So if Blackstorm here is good, I'll play through the rest of this mini-campaign, and then I'll probably play their other mini-campaigns too, if their other missions are organized in the same way, that is. All right, briefing in English. Is that the same thing I just read? Mostly. Some civilians, marked here, reside in the city of Kanikon in order to prevent them from finding themselves at the heart of the conflict. It's necessary to evacuate them so they can reach the Sierra Mike evacuation site to leave the island. So there's a lot of hostile forces up there, we've got friendly forces down here. And we need to evacuate civilians from Kanikon. And we're starting here. So our tasks are going to be to Find evidence of Russian presence. Our Sentinel drone recorded the presence of an unlicensed Orca helicopter crossing the island before it was shot down by AAF. Find it and identify its occupants. It says AAF forces are looking for Nikos to get confidential information he's got on our armies. Right, and going dark. Can't infiltrate a complex with lights on. I feel like these tasks aren't supposed to be showing since they say they're a secret. But you know what, let's just get into it, see how it goes. Whether die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain, Aaron Eckhart. Near Kind Con in the south of Malden. Ooh, a cutscene. I like it already. I like how the pans on the Armour 3 camera are never smooth. Ever. You've got to get them moving at some speed for it to even appear smooth. Oh, hey, who's this? Is this us? Are we this little sniper fellow here? Meet brother to join your team. 
That's a big suppressor. Okay, so we're rocking an MXM. And the 4.5. See, this is Black Storm by Tomahawk, with two Ws either side. It's like an Xbox Live game attack. Oh, is this thing got a message on it? Yeah, it's in Russian. Okay. There's a helicopter up here, some camo dancing as well. So we're meeting up with our team. The team's already there, waiting for your orders. Join them and see if there are some weapons or equipments you want to use for this operation. Uh, so we might get to swap out our gear a bit. See, we've got a heli parked under that camo net there. There's my teammates. The deck chair someone's knocked over. So Johnson and Miller have joined me. What's this? Is that MG? It is. Oh, the saving game. Which can con, alright. So what have we got in here? SDARs, MXMs, M320s. So just a lot of guns, basically. And what's in this box? Hmm, okay. Oh, uh, how much ammo am I carrying? Just take a few more mags. Oh, is there some more boxes here? No. Oh, that's fine. I really love the sandbags since I got more of those with me at the moment. Alright. So let's head into Cancun. Got some smoke over there. Oh, and there too. But that seems like a much bigger fire. I know there's that secret objective about the helicopter being shot down. I think this may be a big enough fire. There's some headlights up there. Hmm. It's a shame that hill's in the way of the fire. Because if it was the helicopter, I might have gone down to take a look. Oh, we seem to have got our first contacts. Infantry down the front. Look down there. I mean, Kerry called it out. Carries me. I mean, I didn't even see either of them. I'm gonna be honest with you. What well, chances are they were just behind no those contact. trees? Northeast is a vehicle up there, then. That'd be that vehicle they can see right there. Yeah, chances are they were behind a bush or something. Then I had no chance of seeing them, but of course, AI don't see foliage in this game. But I'm not even joking about that as well, they literally just shoot you straight through trees and bushes. It's such a common occurrence. Is that that guy there? I mean, I'm of the mind that that guy's still alive. Yeah. Interesting. He has... he does have a helmet, though. I've only got one first aid kit on me, too. Get rid of that cam light. Puts mags in my vest. What have I got? Grenades can go in my bag. Yeah, mags in my vest. Hopefully find a couple more first aid kits. Contact, soldier. Oh, there's somebody in the house. He just shot me. He's got a pistol. Right, we're off to a fantastic start. My team saw enemies I didn't. I shot a guy who was just hiding through a damn wall. And somebody shot me from inside a house. I think we're clearing here. 
Better safe than sorry, though. Let's peek this corner like a nerd. I'm gonna find that side. Find this side, okay. This looks like the type of place we could grab ourselves a bit of intel. What did this guy have on him? An RPG? Won't actually let me take it, though. Won't let me look at anything in his inventory, actually. Hmm, okay. Well, there's the RPG. Won't let me take it. Okay. Looks like we're not allowed to steal from this building. No intel in here for us either. Quite unfortunate. I did see, yeah, this here though. No, we can't use it, it's locked. There's a gun here, which leads me to believe that somebody was sat on it. And they fell through the floor, that might have been the enemy that my team spotted. Can hear a vehicle in the distance driving around. Oh well, let's continue on down the road. Right, there's another little compound coming up here. Let's actually pay attention this time and I might be able to see somebody. If there's anybody to see, that is. Seems all quiet so far. Yeah, there's nobody here. Surely there won't be anybody there. There is a light down that way, though. Again, can't see anybody. Yep, we're coming up to a fork in the road soon, though. I'm gonna head down into Cancun. Still a shame I couldn't pick that RPG up, though, isn't it? That would've come in useful. Oh, that's interesting. In the um, the context here with our rules of engagement, it's explaining that the insurgents that we come across don't have weather-resistant gear, so they're all going to be inside. So we'll be getting a lot of urban combat as we get into the town here. Like, properly urban combat, not just firing down the middle of a street, going building to building, room to room. And people firing at our windows. Probably still be interesting if that's how it goes. Alright, now entering CanCon. Supposedly gonna be civilians around. We're gonna have to be very careful not to shoot them. That's not safe, that guy's got a gun. He's down. We all know what my track record of uh, almost shooting people who come around corners is like. So let's not kill any civs while we're down here. Oh, the rain stopped. Nice. I mean, I do like the rain, but it'll do wonders for us being able to hear people coming out of buildings. Hmm. I'd be, well, we're in the city and it's serving. But I'm just thinking, is it going to start sending enemies out of the city? Like, out of buildings, rather? Now that there's no rain? I'm actually getting stuck on that bush. Need to find and evacuate some sieves. And shut down the generator here. Okay. So is there any particular reason we'd want to do that? It did also say that they're not equipped with night vision goggles, so maybe that would... help them not be able to see us? I don't know if armor AI is really that advanced though. So what did this guy have? Stealth Balaclava. I'll take his grenade. I'll take his black mags. Got rid of these sandy ones. Now I've got some more black mags. Since they match my gun. Drop that. Stick that in there. Ah, first aid kit. Perfect. Some of these doors have notes on them.
doors locked. Sev's there. So these are the people we're going to need to be evacuating. Doesn't seem to be any enemies around. They're just running away from us. Is that what's supposed to happen? Evacuate as many civilians as possible. Those who will be saved will go directly to the Sierra Mike Evac. Uh, so that is a bit up here. So they ran off down that road. Maybe they're just going all the way up there on their own accord. I hope that's the case. Otherwise, I just scared off a lot of innocent people. Can't open these cars. Would have been nice to have a bit of transport. Oh, hello. Where? Alright then. Well, that was close. I almost shot that sieve. Oh, no, they're dead. Alright. Fantastic. Take this guy's first aid kit. Do I need to heal myself? No. I need to be more careful going into these places. Okay, so that guy's just running off on his own as well. I can only assume that's the right thing that's happening there then. God, I can barely see anything. There's a sieve in here. Is there an enemy though? No. So that guy's just gonna leave now, is he? Okay. Oh, look at that, that's cute. They blocked off lots of areas of the map we're not supposed to get in with these wooden panels. Yeah, this bit's blocked off as well. So that'd be why the doors in the back are locked. To cut down on areas we can and can't get into buildings. There's a seven here. The back area is open in this building. <laughs> like how that guy did a little jump. When we rescued him. That guy's gonna leave as well. Can't get upstairs. Fair enough. Oh, so is that all of them? Find and eliminate Nikos. Up here next. Alright, let's get on that. Still gonna have to be careful though, I imagine there's gonna be a couple more people in the buildings around here. And we're not exactly flush with medical supplies either. Sieve down there. Rifleman, seventy-five meters right. Cut. Where did I even get shot from? I think I just got shot through a building. All right, well, it's dumped me back out in front of the city, so I guess I've got all the sieves to serve again. <sighs> At least I know which buildings I'm going to get shot out the side of. You know, I can't bother to pick up that guy's magazines this time. Let's just keep going. Speed run this section. All the way up to these guys here. Alright, then my first enemy was inside this bit, right? Okay, that worked. I didn't expect him to shoot through the, uh, bit at the bottom. 
If it's an enemy, shoot him. Apparently a squad leader. Oh no, the next building down. No, oh, let's get the Civ out of here before we push up on that. This guy actually survived this time. Perfect. Let's get the shopkeeper out of the back of here. Keep an eye on that building since supposedly there's an enemy in there. Oh yeah, there was a guy in here. There weren't any enemies in here, although were there? there was there a guy in the back? Or was this one of the closed buildings? No, there was a guy in the back of this one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, off he goes. So that's the civs evacuated. Let's see if I can spot what the guy in this building is. Not in the back there. Where is he? There's a dead Civ in here. We can go upstairs in this one. Ah, oh, he's right there. Easy peasy. Oh fuck. Didn't see the second. Damn. Oh, perfect. Night vision goggles. That's gonna make this so much easier. Area clear. So we seem to have a uh, PCML that I can actually pick up here. And you know what? I'm not gonna argue with. Don't know why they've got a campfire inside though. That's like a surefire way to get yourself killed. Not just an armor, either. Oh, so that must be what shot me the first time. I got shot out the window there. That was why I couldn't see anybody around here. Contact, man. Hostile down. Contact There's another one. Well, they're all over this bit of the town, aren't they? I think that's it there though. We can start moving up towards Nikos. Clear. For now, sure. But only for now. I imagine this compound up here is gonna have some people in. Yeah, you know what, let's keep the MPGs on. It's just getting darker, isn't it? What time is it? Yeah, and eight, so it is just gonna keep getting darker. Is that a Civ? I don't know. I'd like to think that's a Civ, but it looks like an officer. I really can't tell. Contact officer. Yeah, that was an officer. Looked like he was sat on the chair. Oh, well, here's this generator. Ah, oh, power off. There we go. Well, Alright, that's the secret objective completed. Gotta be somebody else in here, right? It can't just be this officer. That wouldn't make sense. For an officer to be around on their own. But no, this building's clear by... Yeah, it's completely clear. Guy was out here on his lonesome. 